Oh. Welcome to another episode of the Crazy Little Man Car Cap. And uh, I got my little sidekick Jimmy James with me here today. He's on uh, he's on speakerphone, and uh, we're gonna be Hello. we're gonna be working on his little Mustang here. His little uh, '92 uh, Mustang that he sent me wanted a wheel swap. And I also picked him up this little green unit here from the uh, what is it the LP case L case. Anyway. So that's that's going to be for him as well. So let's get started on this wheel swap. I found some uh, the wheels that he wanted came off a of goat, 64 goat, and they got the red line tires. So I'm just going to swap the tires around. I don't know whether you, I don't know, Jimmy, you want red lines or no? What, what, it's up to you, John. All right, it's up to me. I'm the boss. Red lines are going to the rear. All right, so we're going to pop the. Uh, Wheels out of here. I'm still here. I hear you. I hear you, little brother. Brother of a different mother. And um, where are my cutters? Where are my cutters? Well, they're right in front of me. What a dope. All right, so I gotta make. I gotta make axles. The axles on the goat are too small, so I got to make some axles. Some aquels. Aquels. Hey, John, I noticed you just had error card. Refix it and then just burn the crap out of it. What error card? You should do. What error card? The GTO always sent you. Oh. Yeah, I might do that. That's always a possibility. Just go ahead and burn the crap out of it. Burn it till it's dead? Yeah, you did that with uh, customized 3500. I don't see why that would work. That's true. This is true. All right, so we're going to need to make an axle. You guys seen my uh, video where I um, well, shorten an axle with my little gizmo tool. I have a question for you, John. What's your question? Does the tape work is like a repair for a Hot Wheels? What do you mean, will masking tape work for what? Like if you're trying to put a car pack on it, and you accidentally uh, tore off, would you put it back on? With masking tape? Yes. Uh, what part are you talking about? Remember the BMW error that I had fixed? Yeah. I tried to make it look junky. Yeah. And a piece I accidentally took off, I tried to take it back on. Well, what's the part? What part came, came off? Uh, the front. The front? What do you mean the front? Like the front, like the front piece of the car. Like that front. I don't know if I'm following you. The front. You really want me to take pictures and upload to your email? You may, you may have to. Right now, you'll be, uh... you, you may have to, little brother. You just may have yeah. to. Alright, I need crimp tubes. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy! What? I need crimp tubes. Oh, those are the wrong crypt tubes. Yeah, here they are. Everybody stop looking. I got them. All right, crimp tubes. You scared the crap out of me, John. What? You scared the crap out of me there for a second. Yeah, what are you talking about, man? We're doing this live. Yeah, but you're scared the crap out of me for a second. Yeah, we're doing this live. I should have had a V8 today. Could have had a V8? Yeah, we're... Commercial, but you could have had a V8. Uh, no. Uh, you've been missing out on fun, good TV. There is no such thing as good TV. What are you talking about? Like the commercial for V8. Like the, like the mama throwing a French fry and then the baby pops her on the head. Uh, yeah, I guess I missed that one. I'm pretty sure I missed that one. 
All right, let's get some super glue. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. 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 Yes. Pay attention. Pay attention. I'm so I'm messing with you. Pay attention. We got to put super glue on the on the axle tubes, the crimp tubes. Oh. Come on, man. Stick stick with me here, little brother. Sorry. I'm easily distracted. This is a. Uh, it's James Ford. What's your name? Uh, YouTube. James Ford guy. Uh, what are you asking, John? Your YouTube uh, channel. Your name? Ford guy James. Ford guy James. Ford F. Let's see. F G J. F G J. My sister created it. You should thank her. Thanks, sissy. He's also on Facebook. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for my little buddy James. He's a pretty cool cat. We're in. Hey, you, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm also working on that crazy, uh, uh, what was that thing you wanted me to build? Oh, that juice tank. Yeah, I'm going to use a 40 Ford cab, and uh, I got this mess here that I'm going to use for the chassis and all that, so stay tuned for that. It might be ready in the next six or seven months. Six or eight or ten, maybe twelve months. Are you pulling my leg? No, I wouldn't do that, man. Come on. Oh, you're really telling the truth. No. Well, yeah. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm telling them. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay, dude. This is gonna look. This is gonna look sweet. I don't know if you guys are still following me on the YouTube channel here, but uh, bear with me. Uh, I've got a slight issue with this, so I'm going to fix this real quick. My axle is just a little bit too short, <clears throat> so I'm going to uh, I'm going to give it a zing with a Dremel. Uh, where's my Dremel? Great. Oh, there it is. Okay. I got to take off the buff and. Uh, the buffing unit. How do you make flat tires on a junkyard car? Um, just let the air out. You know what? There's not enough light over here. You guys aren't seeing it. This might be. This might be a total YouTube fail. I don't know. I'm saying, was that a joke, John? No, let the air out. You want flat tires? Let the air out, brother. Well, we're talking about Hot Wheels here, John. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Can, can you use fire or something? Use what? That's how I made mine flat with, with pliers. Dude. You squeeze the wheels. You need to, you, what you need to do is quit using pliers for all your customs. You need to change it up and get some different, get some different, uh, you need to get some different, a uh, different method by which to customize. Come on, change it up. Oh, dude. That looked pretty dope. That looked pretty dope. Jimmy James is going to love this. He's gonna love it. Does it roll? Let's see if it rolls. Well, of course it rolls. All right, you're gonna love this, bro. What? What do you mean, what? Did I lose you again? I'm messing with you, John. All right, quit. stop messing with me. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna. Go we're going to lose the tampos. I talked him into getting rid of these neato tampos, so let's get rid of these things real quick. Use my uh, my little tampo remover tool I made. Empty out a uh, magic marker and uh, stuff it full of paper towel. Put some acetone in it. Clean the tip. 
Good to go. Oh, this is gonna look sweet, dude. You might not get this back. I might, I might keep it. Is this seriously trying to pull my leg every time? No, I'm keeping it. Forget it. Sorry, dude. Okay, you seriously, I'm seriously doubting you, John. See, <clears throat> every time you do that, the cool part about it is you can't see what I'm doing yet. You gotta wait for the video. <laughs> That looks sweet. Okay, I'm gonna leave the Ford emblem on the hood, but I'm gonna get rid of this Neato mess on here. What is that, you know what is that Neato thing anyway? I have no idea, but that car is a childhood vehicle. I had one of those as well. Sweet. I think the white paint's the I easiest to remove. I actually with Sharpie. Huh? On, on that Mustang, but not on the same one. Dude, that's sweet. Yeah. But remember, John, Sharpie, hairspray, equals a muscle. What? You can remove Sharpie with hairspray. Oh, yeah, I heard something about that. It actually works. I've done it. Well, hairspray is all sticky and gooey, though, no? Uh... It does stick in gooey, but it works. Don't you use hairspray to make your uh, diorama trees? But if you can also use it with your uh, cars. Yeah, but I'd just assume you use um, acetone. Yeah, but I found out hairspray works. Well, through my, my daycare, whatever I used to do. Well, my I guess if that's all you got, go for it. Yeah, I don't. I don't have. I used to have nail polish remover, but now it's just gone. Used it up. Yeah. Right on. I, right on. I still have your box, but when you send me that stuff. Yeah. All right. We're gonna get rid of this Hot Wheel thing in the back too, because I don't like that either. Oh. I like the Hot Wheel logo, but they didn't put it in a very good spot. Okay, you're about out of questions, buddy. You're only limited to like. <clears throat> you're only limited to like 25 questions a day. Okay. I'll shut up now. No, Ashley, you got one more question left, so go ahead. I'm talking about what year did they introduce the base codes for the cars? Oh, that was uh. Oh, that was in the 60s. 65, I think. You really? You're trying to mess with me, John. No, dude, I would never do that. You know me better than that. I'm talking about the Hot Wheels vehicles. Yeah, exactly. They have the contaminated uh, cars vehicles, lead paint. Yeah, exactly. You're doing 65? Yeah, why not? Sounds good to me, right? Sure. All right, we're going to put some threads in this. Uh, so we can do a tappy, uh, uh, we're going to put some threads in it with a tappy, so we can put some screws. I don't know how many <clears throat> how many of you guys out there are actually going to get all this, but uh, it's just a, something new I'm trying here. With a uh, subscriber on the line, Jimmy James, Ford, what is it, what is it, Ford Guy James? Jimmy! Yeah. Jimmy, pay attention. Is it Ford guy James? Is it a question? Is it Ford guy James? Yes. Okay. Ford guy James. Now that we got that settled, what are you gonna get me for my birthday again? You said you're gonna you're gonna get me a what? Um, it's a Sam Walton Ford F two fifty chase car. They're very expensive on eBay. Very expensive? I don't, I don't. I feel kind of funny about that. I don't like expensive you know, Hot Wheels. No, it's a Hot Wheels car. I know. It's a yeah, but I don't. Those expensive ones, I kind of shy away from, man, because it's kind of like out of my character. But have you watched the Master Rover's video on that? 
Dude, I'm telling you right now, you're not getting this car back. John, come on. This car is looking a pretty nosh. All right, now for some screws. 256 by 3 16ths. Button head screws. Just pretty nosh. Oh. Dude. Nah, you ain't, nah. You ain't getting this. I can't believe you wanted me to re- Adam Flea Market, up in Florida. Fort Myers. All right, here we go. Now, the Feast de Resistance is we're going to put it back in the original package that the green one came out of. Oh, dude. Dude. I will watch this at school during my fourth period. Well, don't get in trouble now on my behalf. No. All right, we're going to... I'm going to demonstrate now. I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to demonstrate now the uh, repackaging after the glue has already dried. So you don't have to put glue on here. All you got to do is re-wet it. Now where's my acetone? I forgot to mention I use acetone. So we're going to re-wet it. Reactivate the glue. And when it dries, it should be locked back in the package. Check that out. Get put a notch. Get put a notch. All right. Nah, you ain't getting it. I'm keeping it. In fact, I'm gonna put it on eBay. See if I can get about ninety-five bucks for it. John, really? Yeah, I have to, dude. Stop pulling my leg, please. <clears throat> what do you mean? You're really not gonna send that back after I send it to you. Nah, oh, it's too cool. I'm gonna sell it. I gotta, I gotta sell it. <laughs> All right, I'll send it back. I'll send it back. All right, what else have I been working on? See this fifty? This is that flash slider. I cut the bed out, and uh, I think I'm gonna make a bed using aluminum can. But I haven't figured out how to do that yet, so that's up and coming. Uh, was it? Was it Dave Thomas that's doing those trailers? Did you see his trailer? I've seen him yet. That he makes out of that ramp truck? Um, yeah. Yeah, well, I, about. I I love that idea. So I, here's here's my rendition of it. I've been playing with. So this is for this is for Dave Thomas here. So this is my uh, here's my idea. Not sure what I'm gonna do for about. Not sure what I'm gonna do about the toe end of it, but there 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 you go. There's there's my uh, there's my take on it. Uh, I've been working on. Uh, I can't remember his name. Uh, one of my other subscribers sent me a deal. Cadillac. Funny car deal. I've been working on that. I got some stuff setting up on that. And, uh, I got another buddy, Cole, who's been very patient. And, uh, his projects have kind of stalled out, but I gotta, I gotta get back on those. His Nissans. Um, so I haven't forgot about you. If anybody I forgot about, just a holler, uh, yell at me, and, um, Kind of get the gas going again. Here's another gas or shoebox gas. I make it for uh, uh, Evans. Um, I can't remember his name. Anyway, I, I just got so much to do. All right, man. That's it. I got to split. I don't know how this video is going to turn out, but uh, uh, it is what it is. It, I'm sending me baby head pictures. It be what it be. Hey, enjoy the baby heads, okay? I search high and low for those pictures of those baby heads, all right? I like, I like, right, I'm the, the I, hey, hey, I'm the, <clears throat> I'm the OG headhunter, all right? OG headhunter. All right, see you. Bye.